Objectives 1. To determine the coefficient of discharge CD for the flow under the sluice gate. 2. To verify the relationship for the initial and sequential depth. 3. To determine the head loss at the hydraulic jump. 4. To verify all specific force before and after the hydraulic jump is same. Procedure 1. Please ensure that the under sluice is properly clamped onto the flume and it is in the vertical plane. Check with level. 2. Using the weir operating gear, lower the tipping weir towards the downstream end of the flume. 3. Turn on the power switch for the flume. 4. Please ensure that the flume is in horizontal position. Slope indicator should point at 0 to 0. 5. Close the operating flow control valve. The closed position is indicated by the red round sport under the circular glass indicator. 6. Start the pump. 7. Slowly open the hand-operated flow control valve in. Order to allow the water enters the flume. 8. Adjust the inflow and the tailgate to create a hydraulic. Jump in the center of the working station. 9. Wait until the steady flow conditions is established for A. Particular values of Yo and Waji. Determine the values of Y1, Y2, and Y3. 10. Repeat step 9 for another set values of Yo and Waji. Please answer these questions in your report. 1. What are the value of discharge, Q at Yo, YG, Y1, Y2, and Y3? Please explain your answer. 2. How this experiment can be related to actual phenomenon on site in your daily life. 3. Why do you think this experiment is very important?